green transition, which uh, is of such great interest in Nordic countries, I think can be moved much faster by attracting private capital to join in with public capital. So I think having the evidence of the impact of the investment in the city provided to the investors will, will attract them to come and be more enthusiastic. I think the most important thing cities can do in terms of accelerating the green transition is to think out into the future and have some long, a long-term vision of where they want to go. Making regulations, setting the bar high, insisting that uh, that the, um, the things that you buy within the in the in the city or the zoning that you do in the city um, is is ambitious. I think ultimately has the potential to a keep the Nordic countries in in the front runner position, but also b to to give a source of, of growth, a future growth for the Nordic countries as every country is going to be in a position that they have to get a hold of new energy sources. We're going to run out of the old ones. I feel very humble to be here in Copenhagen in the Nordic countries because some of the best examples of moving development forward in a more resilient and sustainable way are here. But the problem is the rest of the world is not implementing these things because they don't see the economic benefit of it. And even here, I think you haven't studied the overall economic benefit of this so much. You're doing it because you think it's the right thing to do. So I think uh, we need a better economic story about why this is a good thing. For example, the idea of improving the air quality in the city as a way of improving economic development because people are, are fitter and healthier and they're more productive. And that sort of decision is what is now needed. And so that needs the connections between those things to be clearer understood and linked into economic decision making. So that's the sort of next step. I would recommend um, that the first thing cities do now is actually the opposite of what everyone else has been recommending because most people say let's take the low-hanging fruits and low-hanging fruits happen in terms of, of uh, energy efficiency and so on but what's really tough in this and what people haven't really the nut they haven't cracked is transport and the reason that they haven't cracked it yet is that most of the other issues whether or not we're having green or black electrons coming out of the wall you and I don't have to change our behavior. And with respect to transport, we have to change our behavior. And changing behavior takes a long time. So I realize that the reason that we haven't really broken into the transport nut yet is that it's tough. And for me, that's a really good argument for starting it tomorrow, or even today.